Hey Crush, here's your Sunday video for the week. I bring presentations, um, not exactly as good as like 9 News or Fox 31 or something like that with their little blue screens, but I do the best that I can. Um, first, a few announcements. I think the most major one is coming from the survey that I sent out uh, late last week about um, what we can do better during this uh, pandemic and you know keep people engaged, keep people active. Uh, a few things, one, I think the vast majority of people, something like 90 some percent, so what we're doing right now today is great. Um, a few people think we should be doing a little less, actually. Um, and I think they mostly meant that in terms of, you know, less um, physical interaction or person-to-person -person interaction with people. I don't think they mean actually do less in terms of, like, at-home workouts, stuff like that. So with that, um, none of the at-home workouts are going to change. I had some, some comments and suggestions, some suggestions on how to make those better. And one was, like, make, maybe, maybe make some longer... Uh, minimal equipment or no equipment options instead of just doing like a short 10 15 minutes for this one 10 15 minutes for that one 10 15 minutes for that one we'll do some longer ones i'll definitely do that uh, maybe start doing some more stuff added more options just kind of keep throwing stuff at you and you can just whatever i whatever i throw whatever sticks you can pick a bunch of options i'm gonna do that um, that's not going anywhere the zoom workouts um, i think the request was to have more of those um, have less the, the general consensus to have less um personal contact and have maybe more zoom workouts so starting monday we'll have a zoom workout at 6 noon and 5 p.m 6 a.m noon and 5 p.m every day of the week or i'm sorry every weekday monday through friday we'll have regular zoom workouts so you can start counting on those get those regularly scheduled um, for those that want to that are still working want to get it at 6 a.m got it those that are working home want to take a lunch break got ya. those that are working and want to have one day of the day got ya. So we're going to try Zoom workouts pretty schedulely. Again, 6 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. You can find the meeting IDs in Zen Planner. They're listed in there. Um, so those will be regularly scheduled starting tomorrow, starting Monday. Today's workout, let's cover that really quick. Today's workout, we have a long aerobic capacity workout. I'm going to maybe start doing those on Sundays. Um, a good day to go out and find the track um, and get some running in. It'll probably all be um, track-based workouts, obviously. Um, aerobic capacity could easily be done on a bike or, or a rowing machine. Um, but I'm gonna start doing those on Sundays. And the first one is you run 800 meters at a very comfortable jogging pace that you could easily have a conversation with. Um, the kind of pace, if you think about it, like let's say you're in the gym and you went really, really hard on some barbell stuff or a bunch of wall balls and you wanted to go outside and had to recover, like go out and run and recover on your run so you can come back inside and hit those movements again really hard without having to rest. That kind of pace should be a slow pace. And you can do 400 meters at a faster pace than that. 200 meters at a even faster pace, and then 100 meters sprint, and then we'll walk 400 meters. So the intent here is to have four distinct differences in pace. There's some of you that are going to go too hard and not have a distinct difference between maybe your 200 and your 100, or maybe you'll go too hard on the 200 so you have nothing left for the 100, and you can't go as hard as you should. Or well, there's some people that believe they only have one speed or they only have two speeds. Well, let's take it down. Let's work on a really slow speed to start and try to have distinct differences in your speeds. 800 meters should be a really slow jog. Something almost, for me, it's going to almost feel like I'm walking um, for me to recover at that pace. Super slow for me. Some of you will definitely go a lot faster. The 400 should be a faster pace. So when you hit that 400, you should pick up the pace for 400 meters and try to maintain that same pace for the 400 meters. Don't start going really hard and have to slow down in the 400. Because your 200, you should be faster. You should be able to maintain that for the 200 meters. And then the 100 meters should be all out. And then you're going to walk an easy 100 or 400 meters and recover a little bit. And then right in that 800 meter jog, which should be a recovery jog. I think if um, we were doing a really challenging one, we wouldn't have the 400 meter walk. We would just have straight into that 800 meter jog. And that's where you try to recover is an 800 meter jog. So some people might wonder, they might not know what the differences and the distances are on a track. So I, so I have this nice little picture here. So you can see, um, obviously the track all the way around one time is 400 meters. So you can see there's little lines here and you can see these will be easily marked on the track. These lines are definitely marked on the track. You can start your 400 meter at one of those lines. It makes it real easy. I'm doing something awesome. It makes it really easy to start your 400 meters. So let's say you start here. Let's say you walk up to the track and this is where you start. You go around it twice. For 800 meters, go around at one time as you pick up the tempo for your 400 meters, 
Now you might ask, well, where's 200 meters? Well, it's pretty easy to determine here too, because this is from this line here, you go around the track this way, and right there is your 200 meters. Each of these sections, each of these different color sections, the green, the purple, the brown, and the orange are 100 meters in, in distance. So when you go around your 400 meters, you come around and hit this line here, you start to pick up the tempo for your 200 meters to there, and we hit this line, you gotta go hard for this last 100 meters. And then you'd walk a full 400, and now your next 800 will start here. So we're running 1,500 meters every time, not a full mile every time worth of running, but there is four rounds of it. So 12, 12 or I'm sorry, 800 meters, easy pace, 400 meters at a faster pace, 200 meters at an even faster pace, and then 100 meters at your fastest pace or all out pace, if you can hold it for 100 meters at that point. Walk 400, and you do that four times. So it's gonna be 6,000 meters worth of running. It's a lot of running, um, but I think a lot of you want that. Um, and if you wanna get better at aerobic capacity, you have to hit those long distances and try to hit those pacing. Now, if you have a walk, something like that, that can monitor your, your pacing, by all power to you, more power to you to try to pace that the first one and see what kind of pace you're holding for that 800 meters and see if you can do that every each round at the same pace. And whatever you pace for the 400 meters, can you hit that same pace every round? 200 meters, 100, et cetera. If you can do that every round, A plus, gold star. This is not for time. I didn't put this, I don't think I even put this as an option where you can mark what your score is. There's no score. The score is, can you hit those paces? And everybody's pacing is different. So it's not for time. It's not to go out and see how fast you can run 6K and walk a mile worth of distance. That's what all this adds up to. That's not the point. The point is to hit your pacing numbers. So if you go out and you go really hard and you gas yourself out, and by the time you get to the 400 meters, you can barely even pick up. You, you can't, don't you have a discernible difference in speed? You're not doing it right. Make those, each of those increments should be faster. You should feel yourself getting a little faster. It's going to be a lot faster because if you go a lot faster, maybe you don't have any difference between your 200 and your 100, but it should be somewhat faster. That is the goal for today's aerobic capacity workout. Remember Zoom meetings starting Monday at 6 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. every day. Um, I think that covers it. Have a good day, Crush.